Hey guys, uh, this is Jody from Riff Day. I uh, just got my new uh, James Hetfield uh, signature set, uh, so I'm going to give you a little preview of what uh, is in the box. So, here we go. Alright, so here's the box. Uh, Slash is taking a look at it there, he's quite impressed. Uh, I'm going to let James look at the lovely ladies down there, and we'll move over to the box that was within the box. Uh, so I've already been in it, you can see here, uh, it's got a nice seal. Like their sticker says play it. Um, that's exactly what we should be doing. New MG logo. So cut the seal, open the box. Uh, this is what we got. Um, created with the new James Hetfield MG pickup set. Uh, quite impressive. Uh, nice um, black chrome finish. Um, the whole pieces look good as it is. Um, so you can get a little close. See the finished details on the pole pieces. Um, not too bad. Uh, perhaps you can tell their initial production run. Uh, there's a little bit of stuff. Not sure what to quantify it as. Potting compound, perhaps, around the pole pieces. I would hope that won't affect uh, operation. So I'm back out. Uh, take out the top sheet. Set that back there. We're greeted with some documentation. Installation information for the James Hatfield JHF set. There we go. So we'll take a look at the box. It's nice, they gave us a pick. I do a black bang pick. Very nice. This is all the time. Uh, and then there's all the junk in the box. So it looks like we got uh, pots, plug and play wiring. Springs. More wiring here. Um, some other connections. Um, I'm going to add a folder here. Very nice. Uh, most expensive piece in the box, right? Um, and there you have it. Stuff falling apart. Alright, so a quick overview. What came in the box? The wiring kit, documentation, pickups themselves, Mr. Hetfield, ladies, and of course the guitar. That these will be going into uh, the 1985 Gibson Explorer, which currently has the old 8160 combination. Alrighty, so uh, stay tuned for details. Alright, so there you have it, the uh, James Hetfield signature set, showed you what was in the box. Uh, the plan is to get these installed uh, by my friends at Randy's Music here in town. Um, so I will document that entire process for you. Uh, and then after that we'll do some tone comparisons uh, between the two and see what the difference is. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching.